Hello YouTube and welcome to a new program that is what I think after just using it for a little bit going to be a very essential thing if you are into flight simulators and this can be for X-Plane, this can be for Microsoft Flight Simulator, all of that good stuff and this is Volanta. This is a beta program out right now. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if this is something you want to see yourself and help shape the development of this program as well. But what this is, it's a personal flight tracker. It keeps track of the distance that you flew, the track that you flew, just everything you would want from what's in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Because as you know, the logbook that's in the flight sim is pretty much garbage. The VFR map is pretty much garbage. And it's just, it's not really fun. But to have this program here, this is where it's going to take it to a whole new level. And I can't wait to give you a little bit of a, you know, a preview. I don't know much about, like, the intricacies of, you know, uh, upper airways, lower airways, labels, nav aids, all that kind of stuff. But I'll just show it to you so you guys get a better understanding. So the people that do understand it will be able to, you know, see what it's all about. So what I want to show first is I did a flight. It was originally going to be from uh, Colorado Springs Airport to Centennial, but I was in a papistral and it was just taking forever. So what I ended up doing is I took off from Colorado Springs Airport, and you can see my little track here. And at this point here, I decided, you know what, this is taking way too long. I'm just going to turn around and land at the uh, Air Force Academy's airport. And after you do that, it gives you a lot of great info. It shows you how many pounds of fuel you burned off, the distance, the date of the flight, the flight time, all that good stuff. And it also shows you ground elevation and altitude during that entire flight. You can go through here and just kind of pick a spot and it'll give you information on all that good stuff. It, it just, it's so fantastic. I don't know how to explain it, how cool this is, but it's, it's awesome. I love it. It's so cool to have this. It makes tracking your flights so much more enjoyable than it is in the flight sim. But before I get too deep into that, I want to show you the different settings. Oh, before we do that, I need to show you something really cool. So if we go into an airport, it actually has taxiways and numbered runways ready to go, which is one thing I hate about the stupid map in the simulator. It just... It, there's no use to it. So now that I have this open on the side while Flight Sim's on another monitor, it just makes it so much more enjoyable instead of fighting with the stuff that's in the sim itself. So as you can tell, you have all the information that you need right at your fingertips. And we'll go up to Denver as well so you can kind of see a bigger airport and how that's all situated. You can see the runways here, got all the taxiways labeled. And of course, this is like that for any airport. So let's go over. Let's go to Europe. Let's do let's do Berlin. There we go. And you can just do that at every airport. And then of course, you can see where in the world you are and this is going to make doing airline flights a lot more fun. It's just going to make the whole experience that much better, I think. And, of course, you do also have real aircraft flying around, which is pretty cool. you got the FedEx flight from Indianapolis going to Memphis. And these blue guys are actually real players. So you can see real players that are going on in here as well. And for you guys that really enjoy that sim, which I'm assuming is the program where you can talk to actual ATC and everything like that, you can see where everybody is in the world in that sim. So it'll let you know where people are. You got people down in the south of the U.S. Uh, you got some people in the Philippines doing some air traffic control. Got a lot in Europe as well doing some ATC, which is really, really cool. And very useful for those that use that feature. That way you don't always have to guess where people are doing air traffic control. And you have other stuff, IVAO, FS Cloud, Pilot Edge. And then nav data, which shows you everything that you could possibly ever want regarding air travel. I mean, look at this. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it seems useful. 
I will say that. And look at that. Look at everything that's there. It's so cool. I love this. And for a beta product, this is running very, very smoothly. And I want to talk about that as well. All I had to do was install the app after I got the beta invitation. And that's it. I loaded into Flight Sim. It already knew I had it. I set up my flight. And boom, we were flying. It was as simple as that. So kudos to the development team on this. You guys are doing a great job with this. But the other cool thing I want to showcase, let's just focus on the uh, this FedEx flight here. There's a cool thing called 3D mode, which we are in. And what's neat about it is if we go down here, it gives us a 3D graph of the FedEx's flight, which you can just watch it go up into the air, get to cruise altitude, and he's he started his descent right here. And then he's going into Memphis which is pretty cool. So I thought I'd show that as well. So again, if you have any questions or stuff like that, I'll try my best to answer it, but I'll leave the link in the description for this program so you can get all of the information that you might want to know from people that know what they're talking about. But this is something I'm very excited to get into because I've always wanted to get more in-depth in flying. So to have this type of program here to really learn how to navigate, how to you know create a flight plan and follow actual you know, rules and regulations is going to be really neat for me, I think. The other cool thing, uh, this is kind of work in progress, but there are challenges of different things, you know. One of the most popular air routes in the world fly from Melbourne, or Melbourne, I'm sorry, to anybody from Australia, Melbourne, to Sydney, which gives you rewards. I don't know, I guess it's just achievements for now, but it'll be really cool to see what happens from that. What I'd like to see from this, too, is since it's such a great tracker, it would be kind of cool if they could incorporate some form of company business mod type thing where you can pretend like you're delivering stuff or you're a passenger airline and you're making money. You know, something like that would be kind of cool. I don't know if this would ever come to here, but still, it would be kind of neat to see that at some point, possibly. I don't know. And then, of course, there was a country challenge which you can have a bit of a list on where you want to go to. That That's a good way to kind of explore Microsoft Flight Simulator. Go to places you don't really think you're ever going to go to and kind of try to complete the challenges on here, which is really neat. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this feature as time goes on. And then, of course, as you have more flights with more aircraft, you can then, of course, check out all of the time you spent on those aircrafts. It just... It takes the very bare bones flight sim logbook and just expands it immensely. It's just so fantastic and I cannot wait to get more in depth in this and just learn everything there is to learn about this program and you know really utilize it to its fullest potential. But I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a showcase just in case you never heard of it and you're really into flight sims and you want a better tracker. This is looking like a fantastic product already. So again, I'm going to leave the link in the description for you to sign up to the beta yourself as well to give the devs some good info or feedback and everything like that. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek of the Volanta beta created by Orbex. And I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.